Hello and welcome back to Let's Talk by George. In today's video, we are going to review the latest update from Project Elixir for Wins. Yes, that is right. The ROM we have booted on to Redmi Note 5 Plus or aka Wins. And the ROM is being compiled by our friend Prachu and he did an amazing job in making the ROM extra smooth and the ROM has nice performance too. So let's begin our review with the settings page and let's go to the settings page and let's take the about phone okay and let's have a look at the android version is 12 and the android security patch is 5th of february 2022 and it is very unfortunate that they haven't upgraded to march and the elixir version is 1.5 the device maintainer is our friend prachu the xc linux status is enforcing and the kernel that is being used in this particular rom is 4.9.307 unit tricks and even the ROM is not 12.1 or 12 L, it's still on the 12. And as you can see in the quick settings, the, um, the drop down is so smooth, there isn't any jitter or lag with the quick settings. And you can see they have maintained, maintained the stock user interface for the quick settings. The ROM is of GApps. And I have not added any applications from my side, only screen recorder has been added to the ROM. Apart from that, these are the standard applications that you will get with this particular ROM. You will get Camera Go as default camera application with this ROM. And you will get the modern widgets for the clock widgets for uh, Android 12 in this particular ROM. So that looks amazing, isn't it? The default launcher that is being used with the ROM is uh, Google launcher so that is the launcher information that you have and uh, further to that it is using the Google files as default file manager application so let's go to the settings page as you can see this the settings user interface has been modified or they have changed the default user interface for the settings layout it looks really cool now so um, that's that feels great actually uh, you will get the wallpaper and styles there is an option to enable and disable themed icons if you want to customize the application grid for your default launcher definitely you can do that then coming back you can um, customize the ROM from essence right so basically you will be greeted with uh, the ROM information here and the second option that is available to you is the themes if you want to use the black theme color when you are using dark mode for the ROM there is a toggle switch for that and if you want to use custom colors definitely you can do that with this custom color and you can choose or you can input your own hex code into it then the second thing is a status bar customization if you want to have the combined signal icons definitely you can do that if you want to have network traffic indicator you can definitely enable it on your status bar or expanded header then you will get some network activity type uh, how it needs to be displayed and even you can customize the font size for the network traffic indicator then comes the volite icon and you can customize the volite icon there are quite a lot of choices that are available to you and even with the wo wi-fi wo wi icon too you will have some choices then there is a gesture button tap to sleep clock options and uh, battery style you can customize the how the battery style which battery style you want to be displayed it in either it's it just needs to be a text or something like that so that depends upon you then comes the status bar icons to enable and disable some icons on your status bar next is quick settings vibrate on touch brightness control i mean it is just the basic stuff where you want your brightness uh, slider to be displayed on top or bottom blah 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 then the lock screen double tap to sleep on lock screen lock screen charging information force small clock pretty much the basic and the standard customization options that are available with the row then finally there are some extra customization options such as enable advanced restart fingerprint success vibration vibrate on connect annoying notification and stuff like that so basically the room has some customization which is minimal and useful for the user uh, to use and what about the locking options screen locking so once you come to the security you will come to know you will understand that there are some options like pin 
you can do that uh, fingerprint or face unlock is present in this rom so these are the three ways you can unlock your device while using the rom so that's it now um, as i've already told you the rom is very smooth and the user interface for this particular rom is quite attractive and it's even great actually because the um, and the 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 card type of layout for the settings user interface do really look cool and attractive so that is my review about the rom um well um, praju had done wonderful job in optimizing the trees and delivering the uh, smoothest performance for the rom so many thanks to praju for compiling the rom for our beloved device wins and i would like to thank you for watching my review and please make to make sure to subscribe to my channel thank you